Okay, this is a final session on working out the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of two numbers together. And one of the ways that we can do this is by using a factor tree, working out the prime factors and then multiplying them together. And you might have seen that in one of the previous videos. Okay, however, I'm just going to look at a slightly different way of doing it where we do it um, effectively simultaneously. What I mean by that is I'm going to use the principle of division into both numbers. And I'm going to use the um, bus stop method, which you might know a little bit as something like this, where you've got 3 into 36, and you say, how many 3s are there in 3? Well, there's 1. And how many 3s are there in 6? Well, there's 2. And that's called the bus stop method. Okay, well, I'm going to use slightly, well, a similar method to that. And what I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to put them two together. And I've got 108 and 24. I'm going to put a common between the two of them. Okay, and then I'm going to draw my bus stop. Now, if I look at both of those numbers, I want to find a number that will divide into both of them. And perhaps the easiest numbers to start off with are something like 2, 3, 5, 7, something like that. So at the moment, I think that both of those numbers will divide by 2, and they will. So 2 will go into 108 54 times, and 2 will go into 24 12 times. Now if I like, because it makes my life a bit easier, I'm going to do 2 again. So 2 again. 2 into 54 will go 27 times, and 2 into 12 will go 6 times. Now there still are numbers that will divide into 27 and 6. So I know that 27 and 6 has a common factor of 3. So 3 into 27 goes 9 times, 3 into 6 goes twice. Now I'm now in a position where I have no numbers left that will go into both of them. Not at all. But I do have numbers at the side and numbers at the bottom. So I can only divide 9 and 2 by 1. Or I can divide three by, uh, 9 by 3 or I can divide 2 by 2 if I wanted to. But there's no numbers which are common to both of them. Now, what that leaves me is the ability, actually, to work out the HCF and the LCM from these numbers here. And the HCF, the highest common factor, is simply worked out by multiplying those numbers on the left-hand side together. Now, in order for this to work properly, you have to make sure that when you get to the bottom, there's nothing left to do. But the HCF can be worked out by saying HCF equals 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So the HCF of 108 and 24 is 12. And the LCM is basically all those numbers multiplied together. Now we've already multiplied those, so I'm now going to multiply that answer by 9 and by 2. So it's going to be 12 times 9 times 2 which is 216. So the LCM of 108 and 24 using this method is 216, and the HCF using this method is 212. So I'm now in a position where I can um, calculate HCF and LCMs just by using bus stop short division. Hope that's okay. And it just takes a little bit, a um, little bit less time than using a, a prime factor tree.